If you've just joined us and you're and this is your vacation week in New York, I'm sorry. It's going to be cool. It's going to be raw. It's going to be wet. Just please be careful today, though, because you are dealing with some heavy rain later. Yesterday was World Veterinarian Day, celebrating all that these professionals do. So I thought it'd be fun to celebrate the head vet here at Turtleback Zoo, Dr. Kaylee Anderson. I enjoy the diversity of it, and this is actually my dream job since I was little to be a zoo vet. And so every day that I'm like here is like awesome. It would take a lot to make it not be awesome. Oh, have, what's that? So that's this is chest and his abdomen. Oh, yeah. so that's a wallaby's yeah from spine like here, here and and ribs. Dang. Yeah. Probably the hardest thing is convincing animals to take their medicine. Who takes pills better, penguins or giraffes? The penguins. penguins. Yeah, you put it in a fish and they're golden. You ever been afraid? You ever been scared by an animal? Uh, yeah. It's pretty intimidating when you go to anesthetize a lion and he's only separated from you by some nice bars, steel, uh, but he's in your face roaring at you. <laughs> to have to stand this close and have him in your face and realize how big he is, like, yes, that is terrifying. Zoos are hugely important. Um, they are one way for people to connect with an environment that maybe they wouldn't connect with otherwise. Or we can provide data and numbers and um, information to the public about these species and why their habitats are important and how small things that we do here in Jersey can actually have a huge impact on the global community. Oh my gosh. If we can bring different ideas, different ways of thinking, different backgrounds, uh, we can actually do a lot more as a profession to advance animal care. You know, the theme for this year's World Veterinarian Day was diversity. So it's interesting to hear Dr. Anderson talk about diversity, but also when she talks about level of animal care, that's what we're going to talk about in our next half hour because that is the big initiative that's underway here at Turtleback Zoo as the, uh, uh, the buffalo are just hanging out. As long as there's no unfortunate incident behind me <laughs> right now, no bull. We'll just uh, send it back to you guys in the studio. By the way, a group of wallabies is called a mob. Hmm. So back to the mob in the studio right now. <laughs> John, you know, in the interest of politeness, maybe you should have done your patented, hey, you're on live TV to those, uh, you know, those buffalo bison. Uh, Why did you something happen? No, no, uh, not that I've seen. Uh, no. We're, you know, just in okay, case good. any of them wanted good. to comment uh, be on uh, CBS 2. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, Thank you, John. John. We'll catch back up with you in a few Yes, minutes. we will.